Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, it's been six days since I did sort of an early release of queens into these two nukes. Uh, caught two swarms. To my surprise, neither of them uh, had a queen. And I've got multiple theories as to why that might have happened. Um, could have been an original swarm split into two because these uh, nukes were kind of similar. Only 15 feet apart, maybe. Same color, uh, different heights though. But uh, maybe it's split and then the queen, the original queen, the old queen, never made it. So went out, uh, found a local source uh, for queens, bought two queens, and did an early release. They were only in the hive for about uh, 12 hours, and the bees seemed to be accepting them. So I want to take a look inside. And while looking for my red hive tool, I came across a double screen bottom board for a nuke that I forgot I had. So I'll install that. Um, right now there's just a piece of plywood that I um, screwed onto the bottom of that nuke. So, you know, my initial thought was I was using that as a, hot, um, as a swarm trap. So I have to uh, take that off, uh, get the bees. I think I'll temporarily put them in this eight frame box that I made, cover it up so I can quickly unscrew the uh, plywood on that. I did put the migratory cover on yesterday because I wanted to start feeding them some sugar water. Looks like they took a little, but I don't think they're, um, they like to go up to that extra space with that uh, shim there because there weren't any bees on the bottom of the lid when I looked in. really already started propolizing that shim. So this is what it looks like. Now these guys are going after the pollen patty. The other nuke, not so much so. You know, I'm thinking instead of looking for the queen first, I should go ahead and uh, take care of this bottom board. So let me take these frames out. So I'll put the bottom board here. Put this back. I think I'll put some new frames in with foundation. Replacing the ones with just the starter strips. All right, let's see if I can locate the queen here and see any eggs. No eggs on that. 
outside frame. I do have some, okay, there's some larva. Wow, we're already capped. Hope I didn't have two queens. I already have a queen in here when I release that queen with the green dot. So, do not see. Wow, there's larva. Okay, so there's a queen in here. I wonder if it's the original, I mean, I wonder if it's the green dotted queen or whether I just missed the queen the last time. There's some more brood, capped larva. Can you see that? Still don't see the queen. More larva, capped brood. Oh, there's the queen. So, it's the queen with the green dot. So, unless she killed the original queen, I did not have a queen in here. She's been accepted. And I see lots of larvae starting to cap. So, that's all I needed to know. Put this back. Now I'm just paranoid. Where is she? Where'd she go? There she is. Okay. So I have a laying queen in this hive here. Put a new bottom board on. Well, an old bottom board I had, double screen bottom board for ventilation. And it didn't account for the extra space, so I had to pull it forward a couple of inches to accommodate the uh, bottom not hitting the trellis. So that worked out pretty good. Let's go on to the second one. All right, let's take a look. Whoops. Not much going on with that frame. Man, it's hot. Okay, whoa. This is pretty heavy. 
must be all the nectar. Oh, cap brood. That was quick. It'd be funny if this is the one that uh, with the lesser bees that had the queen that I missed, but cap brood. And larva. Now this I just, if she's in the top box, I just need to look at these frames here and there's some more cap brood. Oh, look at that, it's dark. Comb is dark. That's weird. Some more cap brood and larva. This frame's heavy too. Sort of a uh, dispersed uh, little. Not too tight. I don't see the, uh, the queen. Hmm. That's just nectar. A sugar syrup. in the bottom box. Oh, there she is all by herself. That's weird. It's weird that she's not on the... Could there be another queen in here? So she's on the outside frame there. Let's take a closer look at these other frames again without breaking into the bottom box. Well, I've got brood, so... Just thought that was weird that she's all by herself on that outside frame. All right, so six days after releasing the queens into these two swarms, it looks like they've been accepted and they're laying. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.